everybody. Uh, I would like to welcome you to this very short uh, video. It's uh, to show you actually how to change the background of uh, uh, buttons in uh, Android Studio because uh, some people ask me how to do that. It's very simple, so it's very short uh, and concise uh, uh, video for you to show you how we do that. Uh, thank you very much. So I welcome you to this this video, uh, and let's let's go. So I've already created the. Uh, uh, a project is called change uh, button background go change and everything so what I'm gonna do first of all I'm gonna just change the uh, the background uh, or the layout so I'm gonna go to relative layout yeah uh, at this so it is relative layout and I go for at this so uh, and this one is fine there we go so I'm gonna get rid of this hello world so I'm gonna do uh, go here. Usually, when you do a, a button, so I'm going to create a, a button here. There you go. Uh, it is. So uh, let me give it, uh, I can give it dimensions or I say wrap contents. Let me just do it a wrap contents because I can do it in different shapes as well. Because some people ask me, can I change the shape of the button? Of course, you can do a circular, rectangle, triangle, it's any way you want. Uh, by doing, uh, uh, I've, done, I've done another video actually with the text view is exactly the same same slide. So what I'm gonna do, uh, then put the text on it, for instance, uh, and I'm gonna say, uh, okay, I would like uh, to say, uh, uh, click me. There it is. There you go. You see the color is a purple color. Now, if we change. Uh, try to change the the background. It wouldn't allow you to do so. Uh, the reason for that because there's a constraint in your Android Studio, and I'll show you actually how you remove that constraint, and you can choose any color uh, you would like to do to do on on, on that. Okay, uh, of course. Uh, so I want to put it in the center. So I want to put it in the pair center. So in pair center, I can say it's true, and that's true for me. There, middle. Okay, and that is, there it is. Now, uh, obviously, you can change the, 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 if I can go and make it size, the text size, for instance, text size here, uh, and I make it 25, for instance, DP, and make it a bit bigger, there it is. And I can go style, for instance, uh, text style, there it is. Add the style, there you go, and I'm gonna make it bold. And if I want italic as well, I can put italic as well, here it is. Okay, uh, so that's uh, if you notice. Now, if I change the color, or changing the color, by the way, is you, you can say, uh, I would like background, hit it. So if I, if I go and say background here, uh, hit this, and I say background, I would like that to be, uh, for instance, black. Uh, so if I do black, it uh, wouldn't allow me, if you notice, it's, it's even though I say it's black, it doesn't allow me to do so. So how do I do that? Very simple. Okay, you can go to your projects. Yeah, there you go. Uh, let me zoom zoom in. It is here, and you can go to resources. You go to your values. You go to your themes, and in themes, let me zoom again. There it is. Click on themes here, and if you notice, if I go here, it is on this part. If I may here it is uh, in this part if you notice uh, I can go of course I can, I can I can I can zoom zoom in as well if I want to let me just zoom in here uh, I'll show you uh, on this part here this part uh, if you notice hey I get rid of this here just as it is like that there you go uh, and go to theme and in theme here go and check as compact it is and in here go and say day night if you want if you want, if you want. and then say no actions i don't want actions right uh, and here's no action bar do this once here right and that's what should fix it for you uh, so by doing so i'm like i'm going here if you notice right and um, if i change the colors here you see it's black now so I can do it any color I, I want because I now it's flexible. Now, if you notice, you can see you can't see the writing. It's very simple. I can go and say uh, text color if I want. There it is, and I'm gonna say white. There we see white. Here's white. 
right? It is. You can see that? That's it. So you can change the color. You can change the color in any one you want. And so I can go, for instance, color, and I'm going to say, uh, give me, for instance, uh, if I say colors here, uh, that should give me uh, one that here. Uh, try this one. All right, can see it? The color has changed. So you can change the color anyway. So by looking at this color here, if you want to change it, just click on here uh, and you can actually either customize it uh, in any way that you want. Uh, and obviously, I can go for instance here. Uh, you see, change the colors here, uh, or you can make it. Uh, uh, more like that, and uh, so I can go and uh, do it. Uh, uh, maybe just try one of these. There you go, red ones. And if I do it, it is. You can see it actually is, is being is being done, obviously. And if you want to change the size of it, you don't want it to be like that. Of course, you can change this one here, and you can say, for instance, I want it 200 pp. You see it here? It's changed, right? Uh, Size-wise, or the cha changes is any way you want, it's absolutely fine. It's any color uh, you want. Of course, you can put borders on it and, and so on if you want so. Uh, I hope this is uh, very helpful. Uh, uh, thank you so much. Should you have any uh, queries, any questions, any help you would like with the uh, with the uh, coding, uh, please don't hesitate to contact me and I'll do a short video for you. Thank you very much and enjoy that. Thank you so much. And